Namaste all. Hope you all are doing good. So today I'm going to share my experience about how I got placed in JP Morgan Chase and Co. So uh, it's before getting started some few notices. This is about the 2018th June when I was in my third year of my BTEC and the company came to our college. So it's actually the college placement and the college is tier three college. Uh, yeah, those were few things and uh, uh, yeah, we are also going to discuss about what uh, was the process back then when I was in my third year that is 2018 June uh, basically passed out of uh, college in 2019 June so how the process uh, of placement was back then compared to today what is the smaller few changes happened so we are going to go through the list of rounds that happened and also going to throw some light on the packages back then now and how are the changes that has happened and what can we expect okay so with that mention let's get started so the first round is the round one percentage based filtering so many people ask uh, like uh, some people who joined the college or before joining or after or during uh, the placement season that what is the good percentage so percentage is neither a good nor bad in terms of number it is based on the peers percentage that we can say whether it's a good or it's a bad because in if i go if as a if, as a hirer i want to go right i want to filter out uh, strength as much as possible so if i say 60 percent is the eligibility and i see thousand members who are eligible then i want to filter it out right that's when i will say that no not 60 percent 70 percent is eligible i see 500 oh no i cannot handle this much strength i cannot interview every one of them so let me filter it a bit more so now i say 75 percent now the strength reduced right so that is how we say this percentage is good and this percentage is not uh, yeah basically uh, percentage is good or not depends on the peers so first round uh, that is round one was the percentage based filtering that if you have this much percentage limit only then you can apply for the next rounds and you are eligible for the next round now this depends uh, differs for every college and differs for the same college every year okay now with that the strength is reduced a bit and uh, based on this filter now people go to the next round which is round two so here resume based filtering now let's take for example that uh, after round one uh, for one college uh, 250 people were uh, filtered now in round two where everyone uploads their resume and some proper instructions some formal instructions are given that uh, resume should be in this specific format and some guidelines uh, to create and upload accordingly okay so this is the resume based filtering like after this round two the strength of 250 is reduced much more okay now before moving on to round three uh, let me uh, spend some time and show you my resume of 2018th uh, june okay so this is 2022 march and there's a lot of difference in the skill sets and all so uh, the one that I'm showing you, showing you is of 2018th June. Okay, here it goes. So uh, one thing is uh, generally recommended uh, thing is that uh, we should not upload any kind of uh, this kind of designing all colorful things, right? We should uh, keep it plain and simple, easy to read, and with less number of pages. It's like um, uh, one is good, two is okay, but three no. But uh, uh, I don't know what I was thinking overall in the third year, but I still went for the designing thing, which we can do it, of course, free of cost and put uh, spend some time and efforts on different different platforms. I used Canva. So this, if I scroll down, this is a three page resume and we are not going to spend huge time just going, uh, just going to throw some light on some surface level. So first name, branch and then about. So uh, make sure we don't copy this about section everything. Oh, okay. Uh, this is not a resume section so we'll not discuss more on that so basically about and then education so people recommend that if you have a good percentage only then mention otherwise don't and then professional skills contact email now work experience so we are a college student as of uh, as of when the placement was happening and the resume was preparing so our work experience is what it's basically our mini project and if if it's a good thing that we complete we should complete or try to complete major project as soon as possible so that mini project major project and if any internships that we have done or any projects that we have contributed any journals that we have done 
at that time like uh, i'm not sure how much we are aware of the open source contributions and creating our own stuff compared to how much people are doing as of today in first year second year itself so yeah back then there was only one or two internships and then mini and major projects so based on that i added my experience of what i did and then what is my interest and all uh, basically there's no fixed format just right here and there try to make sure the designing is uh, like if the content is more put it in a different place if the less so it's more or less flexible thing okay then what projects you did and then what co-curricular activities you did so in the co-curricular activities i divided in two things one which is related to the work or role that i am applying one which is not related but it showcases that what kind of person i am or what uh, what activities i'm interested in or i have done okay so that's where uh, the technical things come and below you can see non-technical things and then some achievements like certificates and all those things which are relevant to the role otherwise it's of no use okay and then social sites uh, for sure uh, if 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 i go to college today i for sure recommend people to uh, be active definitely on github linkedin is for networking but for sure be active on github whether you are active anywhere else or not try to contribute something for someone else's try to contribute theirs or create your own and ask for others to uh, contribute yeah so that was all about the resume not much time on this and with that the resume based filtering uh, brings the strength down to more or less uh, number round three so round three is phone interview so this was when uh, the placement was going happening for us that we don't want to spend much time on interviewing each one of the candidates so the interview was max around five minutes to 40 minutes it's like uh, that range was varying i don't know how they were deciding but for sure uh, they were maybe scrutinizing based on few questions and whether to proceed ahead or not but overall uh, for the complete batch that uh, went across this round it was varying from five minutes to 40 minutes now it's not like if it is 40 minutes then you are selected or if it is five minutes you are not selected so it depends on the interviewer and the type of answers you are giving so it's it's a there's no hard and fast rule that if this is a scenario that you face in the interview then you are selected or not selected so that was a phone interview and what kind of questions were asked so one uh, there were two categories of questions i can say based on the information that we collected at that point of time that is 2018 okay so one was very generic questions about uh, the software like software development life cycle are we aware about any agile methodologies or uh, are we aware anything about the company also it's like non-technical things also that that was one category and the next category was they were giving us some problem statement and because we need to keep in mind that this was a phone interview they were simply giving us some problem statement uh, i think this is not for everyone but for very few uh, it's like questions were different but these categories were there so the second set of questions were like this is the problem how you will solve and the expectation was like we can tell them that this is the method that i would follow with the data structure with this algorithm maybe based on that they are trying to check our awareness of how much we are aware of these uh, time complexities space complexities or uh, uh, the uh, data structures and languages of course they are not at all asking you anything specific syntax or anything one thing might be they might not be interested and second thing is because it was a phone interview and not the offline interview that is a face-to-face -face interview and this was uh, at uh, the 2018 when the placement was happening for us and the before batches now there is a small change in this round that is uh, at our time it was phone interview now later on going forward it became a video interview and till now even for the last batch that was a place that this jp morgan chase and co went and hired as a bunch it did not uh, do any kind of offline interviews so we are talking about tier three colleges okay now tier one tier two they did when they they took the offline interviews but we are specifically talking about only tier three colleges where uh, like for from which uh, one of the college from which i i belong to now that was round three and the filtering happened and then we go to the next round round four which is the final round and this is hackathon so this completely hackathon is happening in the campus so uh, we have campus not we have jp morgan chase and co has campus in three different cities hyderabad mumbai and bangalore so uh, they uh, filtered 
from people from different colleges across the cities and finally irrespective of the college teams were made for the hackathon and uh, those things might have decided because you we were provided with the survey that what technology are you good at and uh, uh, like you are back end person front end person and if yes what kind of technology do you use for each of them so i think based on that data that was collected by the survey that was conducted before the hackathon the teams were formed and these teams were formed uh, among the colleges it's not like a uh, one team from one college another team from another no so it's like one student from one college other student from other college overall the teams was made in such a format that the tech stack balance the knowledge balance was a good or uh, balanced across the team so that was how the teams were formed and everything is done and the complete hackathon uh, was happened in the campus itself like if i am from state one then my hackathon was happened in the company branch in my state okay so that's how the hackathon happened across three at the same time or one week here and there okay now what is the name of this is hackathon is code for good so i think this is kind of a popular hackathon which is not a national level or something of that sort like smart india hackathons or something this is a company specific uh, hackathon which is code for good for uh, the students now the problem statements is given by the ngos uh, they came uh, the ngos come they give their problem statement so four to five problem statements will be given but the teams are 20 to 30 so uh, like based on number of groups and number of problem statement they'll decide okay so one problem statement can be taken by these many teams but yeah we'll not go much more deep into that there's some few more things to highlight is that the winner is not uh, if someone is winning or like if someone is being appreciated more compared to that it doesn't mean that he is going to get he or she is going to get placed or not it's not only in this it's like generic across any hackathon that if you are a winner or not winner that has nothing to do with whether you got placed or you will not get placed it depends on many factors and that factors let's see so few of the factors uh, uh, i i list it out but some factor plays a higher weightage and some doesn't weight at all okay so some, a few of them were like how many commits okay how you are designing how you are approaching to the problem statement and how you are distributing it's like maybe sh seeing your management skills okay and how much are you contributing uh, and how you are getting the work done basically the teamwork also they are seeing and finally the most crucial thing was also the presentation it's not only the code but also the presentation then there was not much focus on uh, whether you are writing unit testing or not because that's a hackathon you cannot do all this uh, nfrs or things uh, side activities in that duration right so this uh, points that i mentioned were given the actual weightage so with that uh, the round four hackathon was that is hackathon was completed and the result is not decided then and there it's like uh, people are selected as winner and they are given with some goodies and gifts but uh, though it doesn't says anything about whether someone is getting placed or not after two to three weeks the results will be announced and then we get packages and all such details when to come offer letters and all those things but yeah uh, we'll now talk about the change that happened and then we'll talk about the package so uh, that was all the round fours that were happening but what happened the, uh, the changes that happened in the recent batch or the last two batches was that a new round was introduced which is competitive coding which was there in the selection process of other companies but for this company uh, this was added recently where two questions will be given and one question would be very easy level one question would be medical level it's it's achievable basically provided that we have okay that's a different thing so this was the change one and change two was the phone interview was changed to video call interview and one more change was because of lockdown some activities which are happening offline like the hackathon are moved to online so virtual hackathons so you must have seen posts on it like the biggest virtual hackathons and all such things but yeah that is one thing so these are the number of rounds that uh, uh, we 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 came across and uh, the latest batches are getting across so with that mention we'll come to this final one what what is a package so it's like for my seniors it was one package for me uh, it was increased a bit for my juniors it was increased a bit and that's how every year one one lakh package is getting increased 
uh, for whom not for the people who joined it's uh, for the people who joined that's a different category but the package with which the company is going to the college and saying that if you are getting selected this is the ctc that you are going to get that ctc is getting increased by one lakh every year on an average as per what i have seen in all the tier three colleges which this company is going to which is good maybe because they are also having competitions among the uh, their peer competitive uh, organizations but yeah that that is the that is the whole information that i can give you and with that mention the final thing that we came across is i i hope this is not very uh like fruitful might be fruitful or not but this is going to give you some insight on what number of rounds is happening how this is happening and what is the process and all some uh, because the process would be same across multiple n number of organization which is coming for the college placements now if you want to know about the uh, placement process of any specific organization uh, in the college or of the college let me know in the comment section because now we have peer spread across the different organization so if you want any specific uh, organization you if you want to know the process of any specific organization you can let me know in the comment section uh, i'll see if anyone is interested from that organization and we'll have something of this questionnaire round or setup that kind of thing and we'll also be getting aware of how that process goes uh yeah with uh, that mention let's see if anything right so the thing which i was not aware during my college days was we uh, can wait for the companies to come to our college and then do the complete process but there is also different uh, the careers portal on which the students can apply when they are in second years uh, beginning or the second year ending and throughout uh, the student life they can apply so that you can present yourself and prove to the organization so you will get the pre-placement offer that is uh, before even the actual placement season comes you will have placement in your uh, hand so that is one thing which i was not aware but uh, nowadays i think uh, all the students are getting aware so that link uh, if you want uh, i'll put it in the description so that's all for today of how i got placement in jp morgan chase and co and let me know uh, if you uh, want any insight on any specific query or any specific organization so that's all for today with that mention thank you and do subscribe to support share and that's it thank you Thank you.